how do I make my pool pump run quieter? I can tell you that back in the day, what we used, we used to tell to people would be anti-vibration mats, like rubber mats, high density rubber mats underneath of the pumps. Normally that solves the problem. In a worst case scenario, you could look to isolate rigid plumbing through some sort of flexible plumbing connection like flexible PVC or a fern co-coupling or something like that. But none of these ideas are good and they don't really apply anymore because there's a better solution. For sure there's a better solution. If you want your pool pump to run quieter, you should buy a variable speed pool pump. Problem solved. And how this works is with rheostatic control, you control the RPM of the pump and you turn down the speed of the motor. And as you turn down the RPM, 3450 being maximum, if you have a single speed pump, that's what your pump runs at, 3450 RPM. It's loud as heck. And as you turn it down, even just a little, it's so much quieter. And there's kind of like a resonant frequency that's often found up in that upper range, which is extremely loud and it can cause all sorts of reverberations and vibrations and things like that. And with the ability to control the RPM of the pump, you can alleviate most of those problems just by playing around with that RPM and finding out what isn't resonating with, you know, the, the surrounding room and what RPM do you have to utilize in order to make the vibrations go away and then build a 24 hour filtration schedule around that. And if you run your pump 24 hours a day, aiming to turn over your pool two to three times the volume of your pool through the filtration set two to three times per day over a 24 hour cycle with a few hours a day at higher speeds, maybe double that at medium speeds, 2000 RPM, and the rest of the 24 hour day running at a speed which results in perhaps about 20 gallons per minute of flow, something like that, typically speaking, would be an optimal variable speed flow schedule. Don't think it'll cost more. Don't be like, oh, I can't run my pool pump around the, the clock. That's going to cost so much money. It's going to cost less than whatever you're doing right now. They save a substantial amount of money. So you're going to solve the problem with a pool pump being too noisy, but you're also going to save yourself a bunch of money. You have to outlay. You have to invest into a variable speed pool pump. They are expensive. And so it is a good idea. It's something that will solve your problem with a noisy pool pump in a better, more substantial way than just continuing to try to fix this really old, really loud single speed pool pump. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.